Hello guys, this is Anish here with another tutorial and this is on how to optimize your scene. So, uh, some guy has asked me uh, for, this for, for this tutorial and I thought I'll give him a few tips. Um, so yeah, so uh, as you can see my frame rate is really low and I have only one character in and I have a very big set. So uh, to optimize that, I first of all I want to talk about leaves actually. Uh, as you can see my leaves are hollow and when you export it normally it has it's block by block and it's really laggy so what I did there was I went into MC edit and I changed all the normal leaves to gold blocks and then the birch leaves to iron blocks and if you have jungle leaves or whatever you can change it to diamond blocks or whatever and then you export it with mine rays and then um, yeah and then you get it here and it should have you should have gold blocks and iron blocks everywhere and basically what you do is you just change the textures so I loaded in this leaves texture here and then this birch leaves texture as well and I just loaded it in and I change it to that texture and yeah now it's hollow so yeah it reduces a lot of lag so, say you want to see it in real time and you don't want to optimize your settings or whatever you can hit ctrl D and go into these settings and change it to the frame rate you think it's going at or like a, like 5 or something I think that's what it's going at so now it's like real time and you can see it in real time so yeah I think it's real time right now but I want to go for 24 or 20 frames a second uh, because that's what I'm animating at so yeah let's get to it um, so first of all I want to I want to just uh, crop out just this bit of the, the scene because I'm only going to be using that I'm not even going to use this set uh, I might use it but yeah so I'm just going to try and get out this bit so let's do that it's going to top view by hitting function F2 or just F2 if you have Windows. So my guy is right there. So we're going to just get this little bit because that's what you or um, whatever, whatever is necessary for you in the animation. <sighs> Depends on your animation. Now let's select everything and go into polygon select. Get that rectangle selection tool and let's just um, do that. <laughs> Enable and disable that and then just select out the area you will probably be using in the animation so I'm gonna probably just take out this bit like so it might take some time to load out and we got that bit selected now now let's um, uh, right click and split and now now let's just it created a whole bunch of new things so we need to get that out uh, so anything so it duplicates it kinda so let's just get those duplications so the one below the real one or the previous one the original one <laughs> uh, this is gonna be quite difficult uh, it might take some time speed up Okay, I selected everything and it's basically uh, you split out just this little bit. So now let's just grab it out like so. Okay, so now we have just that that bit selected uh, and now we can right click and connect plus delete and now we have just one object. But say you can have them separated if you like uh, or you can just go into polygon select, split it again or you can select hide selected and it hides those polygons uh, right now I have um, a different yeah uh, but I hid those polygons now and you can undo that by select unhide all and now it comes back and yeah now we have that just just that and another thing I want to talk about is the plane underneath um, it's basically a ton of polygons but I just deleted the entire bottom of it and I added one big plane like like so and it's basically a dirt thing and this is the water and it doesn't yeah it's transparent so I didn't want them to see just nothing less there it's just some dirt I put so another way of optimizing um, is by deleting these unnecessary objects it, I think when they're still inside the scene um, even when you have them invisible I think that does add a little bit of lag but not too much but as you can see the frame rate has improved 
but I'm gonna try I'm gonna just remove them uh, it completely from the file so what I'm going to what I did is I created a lib folder folder to do that I click on file new preset library but I already have one so sets uh, I have this folder for that and just just drag in the entire set just drag it all in there like so uh, it might take some time God. and yeah it's now in there and now we can just delete it and now we just have this bit over here which once we're done animating we can then load in the main entire set and just delete delete the, this and then we have the entire set in, like like so um, got and yeah it's the same so yeah and then we can also do the same with the rigs say you finish animating a whole bunch of rigs and you don't want them in the scene anymore you just um, this is what I did a lot so I just grabbed in the rig and I just dragged it in there and then say uh, you want it to not be there you just delete it like so and uh, then you need to go in the layers and also delete that and also <laughs> also this and then once you're done animating everything else and you want the rig back in just double click it and yeah you got it you got it back <laughs> so that's what I did a lot um, so yeah that's how you optimize it uh, so let me see my frame rate right now. seems to be at around 15 frames per second uh, which is pretty good and yeah so that's how you optimize uh, thanks for watching and